Alright, Stock Master fans, another review of my previous channel. Continuing with Six Pack Volume 2, it's Swap Meat at the Love Shack. Let's check it out. The movie starts with a birthday celebration. For young Jedediah. They've got a guest for dinner. I didn't steal your fucking pigs! I'm calling my son a liar. He saw your grubby hand steal our property. I never. Bad people like him, they're trying to break our family apart. But we're not gonna let that happen, right? Now go on now, pick it up. Well, little Jed's a little hesitant to uh, use the saw. Needs a little help. Sometime later, a couple's on the side of the road and they see a strange sight. It's Jedediah with a uh, cow head on his head. The girl follows him to see if she can help him. Come on. I won't touch you. Turns out he was just bait to lure her into there and uh, she ends up falling down a hole or something and they're gonna crush her to death. Soon after the girl's father shows up, he's a sheriff. I'm real sorry, sir, I swear to God. Trading disorder? It's called child endangerment. You take one of mine, and I'll take all yours, Vernon. So the sheriff takes Jed away, puts him in the Gorman home, like a youth facility. I want to see Jed. She hasn't been allowed to see him all these years. Year after year. He's my son, and I can afford me a lawyer now. Changes nothing. Well, even though she has a court order, it's not the right kind of court order, so she's turned away, but she decides to fight. She's gonna see her son. Pretty soon a riot ensues, and we've got ourselves a break. Right, one of the institutionalized patients kills like a uh, head doctor. Now this is Jackson, that's actually Jet with a different name. They named him. He's uh, formed a bond with one of the nurses there, Lizzie. Four of them escaped and they took Liz as a hostage. Ike and Clarice are the leaders. I'm turning you into strawberry pie. I'm, I'm gonna kill him. Chad and uh, Bud have joined them. Bud is the big guy there. They walk down to the diner. Mike is not a nice man. End up finding an abandoned mobile home to stay in. There's a dead body in there. Whoever lived there before is deceased. Mike and Clarice are doing their thing, and Clarice is on top of the dead body looking at it at the same time. Mike and Clarice don't even really get along with the other three. The other three are not really involved in the violence that's going on here. Says I getting bonked on the head. And now uh Bud is killing Ike, crushing his jaw. The next day Clarice goes off looking for Ike and runs into the cops, including the sheriff from years earlier. What's she say? This is her and Isaac. Sad old man. Crying over a stupid dead little girl. Jed and Lizzie run off, so does Bud. Taking a cue from Han and Luke, Empire Strikes Back, they hide inside the carcass of a dead cow. When the sheriff does catch up with them, Bud attacks the sheriff, gets shot for his efforts, he's gonna kill the cop. Another cop chases them, and this bullet hits Jed in the face, rips his face apart. Sheriff Hartman basically gets a hold of the two of them. He wants revenge against the whole Sawyer family for what happened to his daughter years earlier. Here's another cop getting fed to the pigs in the Sawyer residence. So the sheriff is basically holding Lizzie and Jed in the barn. And then Verna, mom, comes to get them all. She then sews up her son's face. Here, you're next, you 
And the sheriff gets killed by Jed, aka Leatherface. Lizzie runs off into the woods. Well, she hits a bear trap, but this time Jed has been completely warped by his mother. And despite her pleas, they have been close. He is now in full leather face mode. Final scene of the movie, Jed has taken the faces of both the sheriff and Lizzie and has made his first mask. Alright, let's talk about leather face. Came out in 2017. I'm not exactly sure where this fits in the timeline of the of the series. It seems to be like two separate timelines with all these chainsaw movies. Um, this could have been. It's basically kind of the origin story of Leatherface, how he came to be. Uh, this could have fallen in line with, I guess, either one of the other timelines. I have no idea. But anyway, let's just call it a, a Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie that shows the origin of Leatherface. So it starts out he is Jedediah Sawyer. And he's uh, like eight years old or something like that. Seven years old, nine. I don't who knows how it was. He's having a birthday party. Um, he refuses to uh, chainsaw one of their guests. Um, so, but the next day, he lures uh, some this couple into the barn area, and the girl falls down and hurts herself, and they crush her to death. Turns out this girl was the sheriff's daughter. Sheriff comes over. He's like, "Why is it?" You know, he's obviously upset that his daughter's dead. But he's like. You know, there's always, anytime there's a dead body around, it has something to do with you, Sawyer. So he goes to the matriarch, Verna Sawyer, played by Lily Taylor, and says, you take one of mine, I'm going to take all of yours. And then he basically takes Jed, young Jedediah, Jed, and takes him and puts him in a group home of some sort. Fast forward 10 years later, Jed's in the group home. His mom has not seen him. He's basically an adult at this point. Um, his mom comes with a court order to finally get a chance to see her boy. Uh, the place still refuses to show her, uh, to, to reunite them. They say this is the wrong kind of court order, blah, blah, blah. Well, mother goes nuts. She breaks in and tries to rescue her son. Uh, a riot ensues and four people escape. Four of the inmates escape, including Jed. Uh, they also take a nurse hostage. Uh, Jed and her, his friend Bud, um, Jed's going by the name Jackson now, uh, and, and Lizzie, the nurse, uh, they're kind of like nice people, but Ike and Clarice, a couple, are, are nasty. So they're on the run now, um, and then uh, the next day they go to this diner, they shoot up the diner, kill some people. Uh, the sheriff is now after them, same sheriff from years earlier. Um, they hole up in a mobile home for a while. Uh, eventually Bud ends up killing um, uh, Ike, and then uh, the next day Clarice gets shot uh, when the police find her looking for looking for Ike, and she pokes fun at the cop because his daughter died years earlier. He takes out a gun and shoots her. Uh, the other three run off. They end up hiding inside the carcass of a cow uh, when the police run by. Um, they end up back at, uh, at the barn uh, where the girl got killed years earlier, and it's obviously on the Sawyer property. Um, uh, the, uh, the sheriff then shows up, uh, Bud... Bud gets killed by 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 one of the cops, and then uh, uh, Jed kills one of the cops. And anyway, anyway, ultimately Jed and Lizzie are are back at the farm, in the barn, basically being held hostage by the sheriff. He's waiting for the rest of the family to show up so he can kill them all. Um, but they get the best of him, and then they take him in the house. By this time, uh, uh, Jed had been shot in the face, and Mom is sewing him up, and she's basically warping his mind, you know, explaining who he is, who he was, that sort of thing. And Jed's turning into full Leatherface mode here. They end up killing the sheriff, uh, Jed does, with the chainsaw. Lizzie runs off in the woods, gets stuck in a bear trap, and uh, even though she was close with Jed, uh, Jed chops her head off with a chainsaw. The last scene in the movie is Jed taking the uh, skin of both Lizzie and the sheriff, and he's making a skin mask from it, and that's how the film ends. So that's Leatherface. Um, was this a great film? No. Was it okay? Sure. Um, and if you're a fan of horror movies, to me, it's a typical horror movie. This could have been, came out in 2017, and it looked like it could have been shot in the 80s, 90s. Who knows? It's just a typical horror film. Nothing special here, but nothing overly bad either. A couple of brief nude scenes thrown in with uh, Clarice. Not a lot of nudity in the Texas Chainsaw movies, but this one had a tiny bit. Um a couple of decent gore scenes. The chainsaw scene where they're killing the sheriff at the end was pretty gruesome. Uh, a decapitation. And uh, yeah, 
So anyway, it's a Leatherface origin story, put it that way. So anyway, I can't remember now if this is the seventh film I've done or eight, I don't know. There's one more, came out in 2022, just last year. It was broadcast on um, uh, either Netflix or Amazon, one of those channels. Um, I'm looking to get a, a copy of that soon and hopefully I'll review that in the near future as well. But until then, this is the last one. So check it out, leave some comments. Let me know anything about Leatherface. Leave some comments, watch it. Bye.